UCLA.com. We're over a pursuit. This is uh, Gil Levis and News Chopper 4. We're over a pursuit coming out of the Long Beach area right now on the northbound 605 freeway. This is a reckless driver who was driving on the wrong side of the road on the freeway. This is coming out of the Garden Grove area. In fact, Garden Grove police were in pursuit of this vehicle on the wrong side of the road on the 22 freeway. Finally turned around and was going the right direction, exited Beach Boulevard, and then made his way down to the 405 freeway where, where he jumped back on and went into the uh, Seal Beach area, exited the freeway there, and then decided to go wrong side of the road or wrong side of the freeway, getting back on the 405 freeway southbound in the northbound lane. So again, the suspect now in the right direction, northbound 605 and coming up to Carson Street. Ella, uh, the uh, I'm not sure if this is California Highway Patrol, the airship that's overhead, I believe it is, or possibly one of the Orange County Police Department helicopters that's tracking this vehicle right now. But the California Highway Patrol is trying to get involved with this pursuit as well. So a pursuit, a very dangerous pursuit out of Orange County here now northbound 605 freeway coming through the Lakewood area. And I'm going to push in and we can take a look here inside the vehicle to see if we can see what the driver is doing, if there's any other passengers on board. And look at this. He makes a sudden exit here. This is going to be, I'm going to try to get you to the street here. But again, uh, he's getting off mic. How do you copy? He's going to make a westbound turn, Mike. So just keep it here. Turn left. Oh, look at this. He's going back around. He's going to get back on the northbound. Getting back on the northbound 605 freeway. He wants you to grab a higher altitude. Fortunately, we have some fog in the area. So, uh, Mike, if you need to uh, readjust to, to keep the uh, airship uh, in front of us, that's cool. You can make a left turn to do that. trying to get some information here from uh, what, what exactly uh, the airship is overhead. This might be Huntington Beach PD. Sounds like it's Huntington Beach police helicopter overhead with the night sunlight. The driver exiting the 605 freeway and then jumping back on, making a kind of a U-turn and getting on the on-ramp back on the northbound 605. Coming up to South Street. It appears, uh, it's hard to tell, we're trying to get a look inside the uh, vehicle. We believe this to be a green Honda. And it's a little tough to tell. We're, we're working with the, uh, or dealing with fog out here in the area. You can see the driver kind of bobbing and weaving in there inside the, inside the car. Actually, this is going to be We're hearing now that it's a uh, Angel helicopter. That's the uh, Anaheim PD helicopter, not Huntington Beach helicopter overhead. And uh, the driver continuing here, but looks like he may be transitioning to the 91 freeway. He can go eastbound or, or westbound here on that 91 freeway. Let's see what he does. Looks like he's going to stay. If he stays in that lane, he's going to be committed to the westbound 91 freeway. There's the Gore Point. And it is going to be uh, committed to the westbound 91. This is going to be a large right turn, sweeping turn to get onto that uh, 91 freeway. He's going to go west, Mike. And if you need to, put that uh, helicopter in front of us. You can see him making that sweeping turn now. You can see how many units are behind. You're going to have to make that turn, Mike. It might make it easier for you to... It might make it easier for you to put the helicopter uh, in front of you. Let him, let, us, let him pass us. It's okay if they pass us. He's going to go right under us. So hold here. That'll, that'll give them a little bit more uh, breathing room. Or if you want to stay on this side, that's cool. That way they have eyes on us. In fact, that might be better. Just keep it on this side. You can, he's out my side now. The driver, you can see, is hitting the gas here away from the 605 freeway westbound.
And look at this, he's gonna exit here. This, uh, I believe it might be Bellflower. Coming off the off ramp, and I believe this is gonna be Bellflower Boulevard. Right, right at the end, he's got a cross traffic vehicle coming through the intersection, runs that red light, coming right up on the tail of that car. And it looks like the California High Patrol is in this pursuit. Wrong side of the road, look at him there. Wrong side of the road now on surface streets. This is the first look at him driving erratically on surface streets. Not a good situation. This driver's been on the wrong side of the road several times on freeways. Once on the 22 freeway and again on the 405 freeway near the 22. Here he goes, straddling the yellow line into oncoming traffic. Look at that, going right by that black SUV. Dangerous move here to try to get away from the, the California Highway Patrol. This driver desperate to get away, trying anything he can, running red lights. Northbound Bellflower from the 91 freeway in the city of Bellflower. And let's see, he's gonna make a right-hand turn here. This is gonna be Alondra. He's found a launder now. If he stays on a launder, he can get back onto the 605 freeway. He's found a launder from Bellflowers right down the center of the road in that turn pocket, and he's going to make, well, he was going to make a left turn there. No, continues wrong side of the road again. News Chopper 4, the only news helicopter over the scene, over this pursuit, the first one on scene, I should say, and now continuing here eastbound Alondra he coming up on some uh, a red light, possibly heavy traffic there. Goes through that red light, the night sunlight working for the traffic there, it's signaling people that, hey, there's something going on, slow down, and here comes the driver right through the traffic signal. Approaching the 605 freeway now, we'll see if he jumps on that freeway. He's liking the freeways system, he was on the 22, coming out of the Garden Grove area. That's where this pursuit started, wrong side of the freeway. Now he's gonna come up to that freeway and he's got a, a decision to make here if he's gonna jump on the on-ramp or continue on Alondra. Officers blocking the intersections there. They see him coming, there's the freeway. He's gonna go underneath and let's see if he swings around. Yep, he's gonna take it northbound 605 now. California Highway Patrol right on his tail. We'll see if they try to do a pit maneuver on this vehicle, but no, at this point, they're just get, giving him some distance there on this on-ramp. He's pushing those cars ahead of him, and let's take a look in that passenger seat. Oh, he almost swerves into lanes there, into that car. A, a unit there may, may have been trying to do a spike strip there. I don't know if that what that officer was doing there, but he may have been setting up to do a spike strip, but uh, unfortunately, there were some other vehicles in the way. Now, a better look into that passenger side with the night sunlight. It looks to be occupied. Yeah, it looks like I got some uh, someone wearing shorts. I see legs there and a and a uh, maybe a hoodie or a sweatshirt. Someone sitting in that passenger side. So we know at least the driver and a passenger. Don't know if there's anybody in the back seat, but again, two suspects now in this pursuit. A reckless driver coming out of the Garden Grove area made his way into the into the Westminster area at one point, on the 405 freeway into Seal Beach, a little bit into the Long Beach area, then northbound 605, which he is now, northbound 605 at crossing Rosecrans. And it looks like he's on a transition road. This might be the uh, 105 that he's gonna be taking to the west. Westbound 105 from the 91, I'm sorry, from the 605. And unfortunately, we have fog in the area, which is uh, kind of uh, kind of broken in, in spots. So we're gonna try to do our best to stay out of that as much as possible. But look at California Highway Patrol saying, hey, we're not going anywhere we're right behind you and you need to pull over. So unfortunately, this guy is not doing that. 
He's just on the gas, taking off, evading the officers here and the pursuit continuing now for the last uh, at least 20 minutes, maybe even longer. Westbound now, 105 freeway, approaching Bellflower. We did see him exit the 91 freeway on Bellflower uh, just a few minutes ago, and now he's westbound 105. Next freeway is gonna be the 710. And look at that, California Highway Patrol officers right there on his tail. Speeds, we're having to we're going we're having to uh, hit the gas ourselves here to p keep up with this driver. We're doing about 119 miles an hour in News Chopper 4 to just to catch up with this guy. So he's really pouring on the juice. A driver and a passenger in this pursuit in this vehicle. It's a green Honda. All the way across the lanes, it looks like he's going to go use the shoulder there to pass under a bridge and let's see him come out. He's got some heavier traffic here. We don't know why. I don't know. I can't see out the, the pilot side right now, but look at that California Highway Patrol doing a great job keeping up and keeping pace with the driver who used that shoulder. And he's exiting. He's exiting, Mike. Uh, this should be Paramount, I believe, the Paramount or Garfield exit. And we'll see if they dare try a pit maneuver. Let's try to stay close if you can't. Looking to go south, but no, he tries to fake the officer out there by trying to make a, left, a right turn and goes left. Let's see if he jumps back on the freeway here. Back over the 105, now southbound. I believe this is uh, Paramount. We're in a bit of uh, fog right now, It'll, a little pocket of fog right now we're dealing with, but uh, he's going to continue southbound. It looks like Paramount from the 105 freeway. We saw this driver using the wrong side of the road on surface streets as well as the freeway systems. He might be turning Mike behind us. Slow down. Nope, he goes right by those cars, right through a uh, green light he had there. There he goes, wrong side of the road. Look at him cross over there. No reason to do that. I mean, uh, we can't see ahead of him, but why is he doing that? And look at this California Highway Patrol trying to get ahead to warn drivers that this guy's coming right at him, and he's going to go, oh, he's almost made a, a left turn there, decides to stay on the wrong side of the road. He's got an island that's blocking him in. The California Highway Patrol now giving him a little room to get back over. Now it's a open lane there, no center divider, but nope, he's back in that wrong side of the road. Oh, right through that red light. Dangerous situation here. Fortunately, not a whole lot of traffic coming northbound. People diving out of the way. Look at them taking the curb going, this guy's crazy. He's coming right at us. Oh, man, that car right in the center of the intersection there. Again, he's got that island that's blocking him in. That California Highway Patrol keeping pace with him. Right through, fortunately, a green light. Here he comes cutting off the officer the last second. Now he's back on the right side of Paramount. Unbelievable. Now let's see if you try to pit maneuver that officer getting into position. Let's see, we might see it here. He's got a lot of traffic. No, he makes a left turn eastbound. This is a laundry. And let's see, here comes the pit. Keep it flat, Mike. Here's the pit right there. It's spinning him out of control. And let's see if that's that should do it for that vehicle hold right here. No, there's a tree. They got him pinned in there. A gun's drawn on the suspect driver and a passenger. Let's see what happens here as the officers surround the vehicle. Bringing it to an end just east of Paramount on Alondra, that pit maneuver. An excellent job by the California Highway Patrol to bring this pursuit to an end. The suspect, a dangerous move southbound on, on Paramount Boulevard challenging those officers and now the car disabled the suspects in the car not complying guns drawn on them
We see some movement. We'll look into that uh, sunroof there and see if we see activity. Looks like the driver has his hands moving around. The sus or the uh, passenger. I'm going to double in there. Looks like the, dr the passenger is keeping his hands where they can be seen. But the driver, we're hearing California Highway Patrol saying that he looks agitated and he certainly is moving around quite a bit in there. A very dangerous situation for that driver to be doing that, especially with guns drawn on him. Now they're they're giving him orders to comply, put his hands up where they can see him, get those keys out of the vehicle and get out of the vehicle. But so far, they're not complying. So far, they're just staying tight. No, no, don't move. Now another vehicle pulling up another. Officers getting into position now. More officers into position now. That might be a Garden Grove unit that just pulled up. Again, it was the Garden Grove PD that initiated this pursuit. The suspect putting his hands out the window, cracking the window a little bit. Let's see his hands right there. He's kind of wiggling them around, but he was, uh, they're saying that he's agitated. And you can see how he's acting there. The suspect playing it cool, the passenger, I should say, playing it cool, this driver, very agitated. Now he's got his hands on his head, or at least the last second there, he put his hands on his head. Looks like he's continuing to do so. The driver reaching, for, or the passenger reaching for the door. It looks like a female. She's coming out with her hands up. She's complying. Suspect with his hands out the moonroof. female lifting her shirt to show the officers that she has no weapons in her waistband. They're going to make her do a 360. And the suspect driver, fortunately keeping his hands out that sunroof, the female walking backwards to the uh, other officers. They're going to take her into custody right there. One down, one to go. The driver with the door open there, that passenger side door open, he can slip out there, out that side and uh, comply. But so far, he's just sitting there holding the uh, open sunroof. Said to be agitated for sure. He was moving around quite a bit. Pursued out of the Garden Grove area, a reckless driver on the freeway, driving the wrong way on the freeway, on the 22 freeway, made his way to Beach Boulevard, exited Beach Boulevard, went southbound on Beach, all the way down to the 405 freeway where he jumped on northbound, went up to Seal Beach Boulevard, exited, and then entered the freeway the wrong way. Well, that would be the 405 freeway, and then made a U-turn on the freeway going the right direction and jumped off at uh, 7th Street making his way into the Long Beach area for a little bit, then turning around, getting onto the 605 freeway northbound, making his way up to the 91, and uh, went westbound on the 91, exited Bellflower for a little bit, came eastbound on Alondra, got on the 605 freeway north to the 105 freeway west, and that's when he exited Paramount here and turned south. California Highway Patrol chasing him, reckless driver all the way down Paramount, in and out of the wrong side of the road there at high rates of speeds until he made a turn left on Alondra once again. That's when the California Highway Patrol said, enough's enough, we're doing the pit on you. And they certainly did a great job here, spinning him out of control, disabling the vehicle. And now the suspect coming out with his hands up, finally complying with officers, still giving him a little bit of lip there, but now he's walking away. That's not what they want him to do. They want him to stop, go left a little, Joe. I mean, uh, Mike, if you can. Left a little bit here to get that pull out of the way. Now look at him. He's just arguing with officers. That's not a good thing. They're going to, they could use less than lethal to take him down if he does not comply. There he goes, finally going into the stance. Hands on his head. 
They're going to have him lay down on the ground, and then they'll make an approach on him. Down on the ground, finally complying, but look at him. He's still going, going slow, man. Now his hands behind his back. Officer is going to check the vehicle for any other suspects that might be in there. And now they'll put a team together. Here comes the team to make that arrest. And look at this guy. He's just moving around still. That's not a good thing to do. And now he's going to give them a little wiggle and a little fight with the officers. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five officers down on the ground to hold this guy down. No reason for him to do that at this point. I mean, he's just making things worse for himself. And certainly a law enforcement officer is doing a great job to get him into custody. Fortunately, this dangerous pursuit it was putting a lot of drivers at risk on freeways and on surface streets has come to an end here by the California Highway Patrol as they take the uh, driver now into custody. A female passenger that was in the front seat came out. She complied with officers' demands, but the driver being a little stubborn there all the way to the bitter end is now in custody just east of uh, Paramount on Alondra. We'll see how he acts when they try to get him up off the ground. In certain situations, they'll they'll hogtie the suspect if he continues to be combative with them. This guy so far looks like he's going to comply at this point. They're going to walk him to the car, put him in the in the back, and take him to the uh, jail. Now the uh, suspect, the driver in custody, going to be taken away by Garden Grove officers. They're the ones that initiated this pursuit. We're going to keep an eye on that driver because he is still a little agitated. It took uh, five officers to actually get him handcuffed. Here's a look at the female that they have not put in the car yet. Definitely a team effort out here by law enforcement to get these two in custody. Certainly we know the uh, at least one of the ones was reckless driving on this vehicle. We don't know if there was anything further, if the vehicle may have been stolen. It was a green Honda that was being pursued there. You can see how the uh, CHP took them out in a pit maneuver, spinning that car out and disabling it. But wow, what a chase coming down Paramount Boulevard. That driver just jumping onto the wrong side, the, the northbound lanes 
southbound in the northbound lanes of Paramount. Cars diving out of the way, pulling to the curb to get out of their way. That driver going head to head with the, the CHP officer that was in trail, who was in the right side of the road. Fortunately, once they made that turn to on a laundry here eastbound, that CHP said, you're mine and I'm gonna pitch you now and certainly did, taking him out, the driver not complying, but the passenger here you see in, in cuffs here, a female passenger definitely was complying. She wasn't moving in the car, finally came out and did what the officer said. The driver coming out and uh, still being a little agitated and aggressive with officers, they were able to take him into custody, about five officers to get those cuffs on him. Suspect in custody, driver and the passenger about to be taken away as well. But this pursuit ending here in the uh, Paramount Bellflower area off of uh, Paramount and Alondra, just, uh, east of Al just east of Paramount, I should say, on Alondra. Fortunately, officers, uh, everybody's safe and it uh, doesn't appear that there were any injuries or accidents on the freeway or on surface streets as a result of this pursuit.